Mmm. Hey, Fired Up Prepper here, Jim Hammonds, and uh, I just wanted to start this video off like uh, Pastor Joe Fox, uh, Chauffeur Mountain, VikingPreparedness.com. Anyway, I've been following uh, Pastor Joe, uh, Viking Preparedness YouTube channel for, gosh, probably a year or more now. And there's a saying or a quote, however you want to put it, some old philosophy that goes, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And I became ready uh, a couple years ago, and really the last year or so, thinking about uh, making sure that I have a place for my family and myself to go to if the need arises to get away from the city. Uh, I've been doing some basic preparing over the last three years. If y'all watch some of my previous videos, you know that, uh, you know, food, water, different supplies, you know, things that you need. In case you need to bug out or bug in, uh, depending on the circumstances. And so there's been some really really big movements lately. Uh, number one, this is just uh, November 12th or November 13th and November 13th, Sunday, November 13th. And uh, I was just watching some programs here this Sunday morning, uh, you know, reading the Bible, going through, doing some studying. And I had a package come in, I think on Friday, it was either Friday or yesterday. Was it in Friday? I think it might have been in Friday's uh, mail or yesterday's mail, Saturday's mail. The days just start to run together. I've been doing a lot of traveling lately for my work. And uh, so anyway, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And, uh, you know, being around on YouTube and looking for different... Uh, homesteading type channels and survivalist channels I ran across Pastor Joe Fox and he's just my kind of guy I mean uh, he's got the knowledge where his knowledge came from in his background his work his career and then you know moving out and him and his wife making the decision that uh, yeah we're not gonna go you know to the Middle East or to Asia somewhere to do ministry work. Uh, we need to go over here, buy this land, and start a community, whatever. Uh, and it's in the Ozarks somewhere. So I, I had already been thinking, hey, this is where I want to go. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to prepare for. Uh, I was raised in small town. I was born in California, but only until I was five years old and my folks separated and was raised in Nebraska, small town atmosphere, uh, around a lot of farms and hunting and fishing, growing up my whole life. Uh, and then after I graduated from high school, you know, got the wild hair and moved to the big city. And uh, so it brings me to this point in my life where I have five grandkids, three children, my wife, three dogs, uh, you know, and few years ago when I seen the uh, the movie series or the the show series on t television uh, uh, doomsday preppers yeah there was a lot of crazies on that show but there was still a lot of good things to be taken from that it started making me think we had actually moved to Florida for a two-year period my wife was working for a major uh, 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 department store chain and had the opportunity to go down there and open a store in Miami-Dade County. Uh, and the two years we were there, we went through eight hurricanes, 2004 to 2006. You don't believe me? Look it up. It's documented. Three weeks after we moved there, I was putting up hurricane shutters for the first time and having to put away water and food so in case anything happened, we wouldn't be that bad off. And over the next two years, we did that eight times. Uh, towards the end, I was getting tired of it. They said, uh, you know, the weather, the people that be, the powers that be said, oh, this is going to be the new uh, weather pattern and this is the way it's going to be for now on. And I'm like, you know what? 
we're going back to Texas. <laughs> I said, you let them know when your two years are up. It was a minimum of two years. I said, we're moving back. Whether or whether or not they have a, a place for you. And luckily they did have a place for her back here. But anyway, so we moved back to Texas. Then Florida didn't have any major uh, storms like that for 10 years. Our 10 year anniversary was in July. They just had the the uh, tropical storm or hurricane go through. I think they had one light tropical storm that went through the Gulf and went up north, but this last one, whatever it was named, that came off the coast and really scared a lot of people, uh, you know, did a little bit of damage and flooding and stuff, but, uh, you know, nothing like what we were getting. I mean, man, when we were there, they were just crisscrossing Florida. It was crazy. So, but that in 10 years, those were the first ones that have come come around so it wasn't the normal weather pattern uh, uh, that they were saying it was going to be year after year you know having eight of them in two years like we did anyway when the student when the, when the student is ready the teacher will appear and so I was ready I was on YouTube Joe Foster Pastor Joe uh, Fox uh, appeared and so I've been plugging into <clears throat> his videos and his teaching some of his sermons and uh so when you're following someone like this if you want to call them a coach or a mentor or whatever you want to call them uh you know they'll suggest things and they have tools and things available to help you along your way and with everything that's been going on lately there's been a lot of talk of everybody arming their nukes you know north korea and russia and you know the united states is instigating this country and this country and you know people china's wanting to come after i mean it's just all kinds of craziness talk right but it's the only kind of craziness talk that has come since back when kennedy was and they had the you know the the nuclear deal and, and all that uh so they they say that when your enemy is saying hey i'm gonna do this that you need to believe that they're gonna do it and you need to prepare so Pastor Joe, number one, I got this package in, so this is an unboxing, and I've got two things here. I bought Pastor Joe's book, Survivalist Family, Joe Fox, right there, doesn't have Pastor Joe Fox, just says Joe Fox, just got it in, read about uh, one, the first half of the first chapter yesterday, uh, and because I decided I wanted to make the video. But this is, this is Pastor Joe's book. Go to Amazon, just put in Survival Family, and boom, it'll come up. And, and, and you can purchase it there. Uh, the other thing is, like I've been talking about, with all the nuclear talk and everything, sometimes your coaches and your mentors, these people that you're learning from will suggest things. Like you'll give them questions. People will say, hey, you know, what do we do to get ready for nuclear preparedness? And he keeps saying over and over, Nuclear war survival skills by Crescent Kearney or Carney. I don't know how it goes. Crescent Kearney or Carney. Okay. Now, he did say, oh, there's a PDF that you can get for free online or whatever. You can find it. That's great. If you want to read it online or print it out, I'd rather have the book. Amazon, I found the book. And uh, for both of these books, I got free shipping. I think the total was... 32 to 35 dollars for both those books and i look forward to reading them and getting the information and and doing what we need to do to get ready but survivalist family by pastor joe fox you can go to vikingpreparedness.com find his youtube channel whatever follow him and then chris and carney i don't know much about him other than this book right here uh, and so it has all kinds of skills and all kinds of tips and tricks for surviving nuclear war. Uh, it says the Red Dog Nuclear Survival Series, Nuclear War Survival Skills. Nuclear War Survival Skills is the third volume in the Red Dog Nuclear Survival Series. It is based on Cold War scenario of major, major thermal nuclear exchange between the Warsaw Pact and NATO. This classic book provides a comprehensive range of nuclear survival techniques, including how to make your own radiation meter, decide whether to evacuate, construct your own fallout shelter, keep your water safe from contamination. 
Richly illustrated, this volume also includes detailed plans for six nuclear fallout shelters and two nuclear blast shelters. Written in 1979 by Crescent H. Kearney of Oak Ridge National Laboratories, this famous volume is today recognized across the world as the key source of nuclear survival techniques. So if you want to brush up on nuclear survival techniques, don't sit around scared worrying about it. Prepare yourself. Get educated. What can you do to prepare? Can you do anything? Yes, you can. Get the book. Read the book. I don't get paid for talking about it. It's just I'm doing an unboxing and I'm sharing with you. Uh, this, you know, I, I don't know. I know Pastor Joe says, hey, if you, you know, if you're a if you're a survival person like he is and you're really been around a long time and you know a lot, then maybe his book isn't for you. But if you're a new person, the reason he wrote the book was because a lot of the books that he seen and read before this, before his book, were just book of lists, like what to buy, what to gather, what to get, you know, what to store and, and all that. But his book is going to give you tips, tricks, techniques, strategies, things that you need to do to get prepared. So that's it. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Pastor Joe Fox, check him out on YouTube. Uh, and he may be for you, he may not be for you. I don't know. I'm sipping the coffee. That's what he does a lot of the, in the morning. What, he's starting his videos out. I'm inside my home. He does them outside, uh, you know, where he lives out there on the mountain. So a lot different perspective. One day soon I'll be doing mine outside on my land, uh, my homestead. I've already started looking at land, places, uh, affordable places that are out there. You just have to be willing to, to do it. And I found them as close as three hours away, three and a half hours away, to as far as eight hours away in the actual North Arkansas, Missouri, Ozarks area, okay? But very, a lot of people think, I can't buy land, my credit's no good, I don't have the money, I don't have the down payment. Forget all that. You haven't done your homework. There's places where you can put very small down payment or all you do is make the first payment and you start, you keep making the payments. You find out how much land do you want. Do you just want an acre? Do you want three acres, five acres, 10 acres, 25, 50 acres? It's all out there. Of course, you're talking about going from maybe a $130 payment to a $700 payment, but it's out there. Excuse me. So, uh, if you're looking at getting land, it's out there. You just have to do your research and it's there. So there's no real, in, in Texas, the land around here, even in the rural areas, unless you really find a deal or a sweetheart deal or a cousin deal or a brother deal, whatever, uh, the land is really expensive per acre. So that's why I'm going out of ways. Now people might say, oh, but you won't be able to get there. You need a place you can get to. You know what? That'll be part of my plan. And uh, the thing is, I don't plan on always being here in the city, okay? I plan on getting my land, putting it together, working on it on the weekends, time off, things like that, and then getting it to where if we need to make the transition, we make it. If we have to make a run for it and get to that land, then so be it. With all the civil unrest, uh, Trump won the election, and all the people that are uprising, you know, the young kids and all the stuff that's going on around the country, uh, it may be, you know, maybe it may come a time where you have to get out of the city. Maybe martial law gets enacted, whatever. They're not going to get my guns. So if I have to go leave the city so they don't get my guns, I'll do that. But anyway, check them out. I'm sure you can go on Amazon, maybe read a chapter or half a chapter or something. Uh, Pastor Joe Fox, Survival Family, Crescent Kearney, Nuclear War Survival Skills. Check them out. Fired Up Prepper. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Uh, uh, become a student. Don't only start prepping. Don't only start buying your water and buying your food and putting away supplies and making your plans. Become a student. Learn the skills. Because the what you're doing now is the basics. When you're gathering, that's the easy point. That's the easy part, right? You, it's easy to go buy or accumulate things to survive with. 
but you need to have the skills. What if you just need to pack everything up and go live in the middle of the woods somewhere? I mean, you know what I'm talking about. You have to have different skills, whether they're bushcraft or whatever. Just uh, get out there, get the knowledge, uh, practice these things, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Go down below, make sure you give me some comments, uh, subscribe to the channel. I haven't done a video in a long time. I was getting wrapped up in the election deal. I didn't want to come out here and talk about those things day after day after day. Uh, and so I decided that I was going to stop until after the election. The election's over. Trump's going to be the new president. We can move on. Okay? Let's keep getting ready. Let's keep preparing. You never know what's going to happen. And you need to be prepared. Don't be caught empty-handed. Don't be caught unprepared. You want to be an asset not a liability if it economic collapse or if there's war or whatever. You want to be an asset, not a liability. You don't want to have to worry about FEMA and the government taking care of you. No one's going to come to take care of you. You need to take care of yourself and make those steps and get your family on board. Talk to you later. Fired up.